In phase three of reopening, Governor DeSantis signed an executive order that ended statewide restrictions and lifted capacity limits at restaurants. It also ends fines for not wearing a face mask. Eight on your side is Justin Sheckers in South Tampa now with a reaction tonight. We have um, socially distanced all the tables um, inside and out. Tonight, customers won't notice any changes at Ella's Americana Folk Art Cafe. We didn't want to increase our capacity. We didn't want to, um, you know, not require customers to wear masks. Since this Seminole Heights restaurant reopens at a limited capacity, owner Melissa Deming says most of her 37 employees who lost their jobs in the spring are back to work. It's definitely been a hit through this whole thing, but I mean, we would prefer to have things, you know, calm and uh, in control. Today, protesters gathered across from this St. Pete restaurant. As Governor DeSantis made the case for moving Florida into phase three. There will not be limitations uh, from this, the state of Florida. And in fact, uh, we're also cognizant about the need for business certainty. The governor's executive order removes all state level restrictions on businesses and guarantees restaurants the right to operate at a minimum of 50% capacity. But if a county tries to limit restaurants to less than 100%, they must provide a justification. The order does allow for some level of local control to remain in place, but it restricts the amount of authority local officials can impose. Tampa attorney Richard Blau tells Aid on Your Side, Florida bars and restaurants should proceed with caution. This contagion is far from gone. And the attorney points out, regardless of local rules, a business owner still has the right to require customers wear one of these. Think of it as no shoes, no shirt, no mask, no service. In South Tampa, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.